Emma's already briefed me on the list, raising the tantalizing question of what you're really doing here. Official directive was to help in any way I can. Like spying for Mallory. Come on. Mallory's not as bad as you think. He's a bureaucrat. Maybe you should do your homework. Gareth Mallory was lieutenant. Colonel in Northern Ireland, SAS. So about three months in the hands of the IRA. So there's more to him than meets the eye. We'll see. Keep still. This is the tricky part. You're lucky I've got such steady hands. Explains your brilliant marksmanship. That's better. You look the part now. What part's that? Old dog, new tricks. Sometimes old tricks just work. How did I do? You're a fast learner. So what's my next lesson? <sighs> you could ignore that. Should only call you. Before you leave your mission in Iceland, tell me what you know of James Bond. I double below. A wild one, as I witnessed today. We'll light the fuse on any explosive situation. Kill first, ask questions later. A danger to himself and others. A blunt instrument whose primary method is to provoke and confront. A womanizer. Well, you're going to be seeing a lot more of him in Iceland. With respect. A man like him could blow my cover. Only if he finds out who you are. Miss Frost, you volunteered for this operation. You did well tipping us off when Bond appeared. But in three months you've turned up next to nothing. Grave seems to be clean. Well, Bond thinks differently. So we're going to do what you so ably described. Make things up a little with Mr. Graves. And with you out there, things won't be able to get out of hand. While Bond may have been through a lot, one thing I'm sure hasn't changed is his desire for beautiful women. In your three years in cryptology, you managed to keep business and pleasure separate. You've not fraternised with any of your fellow Asians, despite several advances. It would be foolish to get involved with someone within the community. Especially James Bond.